In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to manage your graphic design clients. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. Welcome to another episode of Wine and Design. I've got myself some wine right over here and I haven't shown you guys a new wine in a while so I figured it's time. Let's open up a new bottle. So this is actually one I've talked about before. It's my favorite, honestly one of my favorite wines from Trader Joe's and it's actually the Trader Joe's brand. Um, it is the Trader Joe's Organic Cabernet Sauvignon um, and it's it's amazing. So let's pour ourselves a little bit of that and then we'll dive into the video talking about project management because that's been one of my biggest struggles as a graphic designer um, and just a new business owner. Project management on top of doing the work and all of that can become a lot. It can become very overwhelming, but having a really good system to follow is super helpful. So let's pour ourselves some gla a glass of wine. I think I'll do just like that much today and yeah let's get into it so I'm gonna be screen recording and I'm actually gonna be setting up one of my client portals with you guys and to show you bless you Leo um, to show you guys how exactly that looks and what I where I create this so so while I'm opening up my computer and those files I wanted to kind of touch base on why why I want to talk about this and why it's so important, especially as you're growing and as you are getting more and more clients and potentially employees or contractors or people that you might be involving in your projects, staying organized is so important. And if you're not, it can be really, really difficult to not only ask for help, but to keep track of like your clients and what exactly you've been telling them, what you've been sending them and what everything above like where it's at and yeah it's super helpful and that's something that like i said i've kind of it's always been like my weakness i would say as a business owner because i feel like i get very overwhelmed with the amount of project management platforms out there with all of the different ways and uh, solutions there are to to project manage i would become very overwhelmed with it and i wouldn't i honestly didn't know where to begin really but to be honest, this video is going to be really going back to like the basics and I'm not using any platforms. Well, I am using a platform, but it's technically sort of free. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys kind of a more basic way to set up a client portal. And I can also kind of show you some insight into a more advanced way that I have set up a client portal. Um, and when I say portal, that really means just an area with all of the resources, all of the files, all of the documents my client needs to or will want to reference throughout the entire project and vice versa. It'll help me reference it as well. So it's just an area for us to go and see everything just in one place. And I remember before I started doing this, I I realized that it's probably so hard for my clients to go and find those files I've provided them or even the resources I've provided them through just searching their emails. So I'd rather have some sort of folder or place and destination they can go and find everything and anything. So it's a very important part of business and I would argue one of the more important parts and it's one of your it's a part of your client experience. I'm going to start recording my screen so that we can walk through what exactly I'm talking about because I feel like I'm a visual person and I'm sure you guys all are too and it's really difficult to talk about it and not show it. So I'm going to start recording my screen, just getting it ready. And like I said, I'm going to actually be showing you a real client of mine. I need to set up their portal and this is something I waited to do with you guys and um, we're starting her project on the 28th. So, sorry, another thing before we jump in, I always like to start building my client portals about ideally two weeks before their project begins. Um, one to two weeks is ideal just because then I can provide them the questionnaire and everything through this and 
I can upload everything in there so that um, sorry, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I like to send it early on because they can start uploading their images for the website. They can start doing their client homework, which is the content for the website. Um, if we're doing websites, if we're doing more branding, it will allow me to upload that questionnaire in there and um, just get everything organized because the more organized I am before we start, the more smooth the whole process is going to be. So let me record my screen. Okay, so... As I mentioned, I used to get very overwhelmed with the amount of platforms out there to project manage. Like, there's so many. There's so, so many, and all of them are amazing. All of them have their pros and cons. And ultimately, I, number one, I don't have the time to go and learn a completely new platform. I wish I did. Um, if I did, I probably would spend more time learning something like ClickUp, which I think is a great platform, um, but I just don't have the time. And I'm I'm very used to using Google, um, Google tools, so I was like, why am I not just using this? It's not only going to make my life easier, it's more affordable, it's actually like pretty much free. I think I only pay for extra storage like once a year and it's very, very cheap. It's like, I can't even remember the price off the top of my head, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen here. It's very affordable and I feel like everyone can access this. It's like very, very common for someone to have a Gmail or um, just access to open up one of these folders. So I've never had any issues with it with any of my clients and um, yeah, it's working really well. So some of these are, this is a new Google account here, so there's not that many in here, but um, you'll see like I have for example, this client that we're going to be starting soon, I have a folder for their branding guidelines. I have a folder for the photos for the website, which if I click in there, we already started uploading those. Um, I have the timeline payment plan, the questionnaire, the website content planner. So this is where everything is going to be for them. I did create the brand for them, so I did include that in here because it's gonna be helpful for me to reference that when I'm designing the website. If I need to go find the primary logo, I can just come in here and quickly download those. And then also like the color palette, I can quickly come in here instead of having to like search through my whole computer. It's just so, it's so seamless now and I'm so happy with this, um, the way I'm doing this now. So in order to create a new client, I'm okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder for this client of mine that is new and we're starting on the 28th. So I have some time in between to create this platform or portal for her. So let's do that. Created. And I'm gonna go into this folder and I'm actually just gonna make these a copy um, because I don't have this just within my drive. So I'm gonna just go into this folder say make a copy and it's going to make it within here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say move to and then I'm going to move it to that new folder okay and then we're going to have to go in there and change um okay cool so that's all I really need to make a copy of for right now. So I'm gonna head on over to my drive and go in there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it and just edit the dates. So this is what it looks like for me. I edited just minimal branding on here. Have my logo, I have my fonts, and um, yeah, like I really didn't make it super fancy at the end of the day, as long as it's easy to understand, it's all you really need to do. I will say a lot of platforms like ClickUp, um, what else is there, Asana, those platforms, you can assign tasks to your clients, which can become very beneficial, especially if it's like a big project and you need them to be reminded to do those tasks. Um, you can set that up in those platforms. That's not something I can do using Google Drive, but I find that I don't, I don't really need to keep my clients like super... I don't have to keep reminding them. I just hop on the calls. We always have those calls where I can check in and make sure that they're getting that done. Um, that might be something I want to really focus more on in the in the future, but for now, this works totally fine for me. So you'll see I have different colors and there's reasons behind these colors. I'm really big on color coding lately. 
So I did a little color menu up here. So the purple is my tasks and the yellow is my client's tasks. And that just helps us when we have our very first kickoff call, I'm able to just tell them to refer to that color menu of like what they need to provide me and at what time I need that I need them to provide it to me too. So this just is very helpful. Um, I have a link to my invoices right here. So when they can see that payment schedule, they can actually just make a payment right through here, which makes it super easy too. And then ideally, once they make a payment, I would just cross it out, strike that through so that we can keep moving forward. So this really helps me because I'm able to reference this and make sure I'm working on the right things during the right times. And um, yeah, and then I just basically take this and I go into my Google Calendar and I copy all those dates, put the tasks in there of what it is I'm supposed to be working on. And um, I just color code those different calendars for each different client. And it's, this has been the best, at least for me, the, the most seamless way for me to stay consistent with some sort of workflow and project management for my clients. And I love it because they can not only provide me, um, or I can not only provide them the schedule, the timeline, the payment schedule, but I can also allow them to upload images and I just, I find it so much easier than anything I've used. And I really wanted to show this to you guys because it doesn't have to be something crazy fancy um, as long as you have it very clear to your clients and organized. Like that's really all, that's super, super important. So I'm gonna head back over here and um, I'm actually just gonna rename it. So I just say website. I'm gonna say brand and web timeline. So, now I'm just going to spend some time editing all these dates, making sure they're correct. And also this client isn't just a website client, so I want to make sure that I'm always um, updating that as well. So that's how I like to do it. I'm also going to create some folders in here called Peace Field History Photos. Um, that way she can provide me that before we begin the website design. Um, that's something that's really important to get from your clients. Um, another thing that I, another folder I'll make is, so once I start creating like the logo designs, I'm gonna create different folders. So this one will be um, logo design uh, round one. I'm just gonna call them rounds. That's typically what I refer to them as. Um, and then depending on like the revisions, I'll have a round two folder, a round three folder. That way we can re reference back the very first revisions because I find that clients sometimes we get to the second revision and they're like, actually going back to the first round, I really like this. So it's nice to have all of those rounds of designs for them to reference. Um, so I would definitely create those folders of the different rounds of logos. And then once we're completely finished with the project, I would turn this portal into more of a place for them to download their files and for me to, to put all of the working documents that they need. Um, so overall, I, I just really love using Google Drive for this. It's been so helpful. And it's like one place for everything. Like I can just go here for everything and anything and yeah, I really do enjoy using this to, for my workflow and my project management. And um, I wanted to show you guys though, before, before we go, I wanted to show you one of the more fancier portals I've created for my clients through ClickUp. Um, this was something that I really planned on using this year, but as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, to be 100% completely honest, I don't have time to learn it. Um, I was stressing myself out trying to learn it and I'm like this isn't worth this isn't worth stressing over you know what I mean like it's you gotta just find what works for you everyone's so different and once you find that like sweet spot of like I really enjoy how this is working for me stick with it until you find the time to really perfect the other platforms but um ClickUp's portal is beautiful and I wanted to show you guys that because that like I said is something that I plan on implementing in the future probably so this is what one of the portals looks like that i created 
as an example for my client. And it's really nice, as I mentioned, you can, you can assign tasks to your clients. So right here, you'll see the task list. Um, it's way more in depth. It's very, very different. Um, I also have an option to book a call with me right here, an option to leave a chat, um, the payment schedule, just a little bit of an introduction. This is a placeholder, but ideally it would be a video walking them through the portal. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's a beautiful way to to give your client access to a portal. But as I mentioned, I just I really don't have um, the time to to do this and to create it every single time. Um, but that is something I, I definitely see myself doing later on. But I did want to show you guys the more simple way to create a a really cool portal for your clients where they can access everything they need to know and. Um, it's a simple way to do it. So anyway, I really hope that this was helpful to you guys. I, I feel like it's always helpful um, kind of seeing insight into other, how other designers workflows are. I know I always like to see that. So I really hope that this was helpful to you. So before we go, I just wanted to mention some of the key takeaways that I really want to share with you guys in this video. Number one, that is to create these portals and these dashboards for your clients like one to two weeks before the project starts, ideally two weeks, because then it'll give them time to upload those images and for you to create all the things you need and all the folders you need for them. Um, but yeah, having that two weeks before is going to make your process so much more smooth and it will kind of keep them accountable and give them some homework before the project starts. And that's really important to get from them. Um, another thing to take away from this is that if you're like me and you got overwhelmed with all the platforms out there and, and maybe you're just so busy, you don't have time to learn them. Just remember, it doesn't have to be crazy fancy. Um, of course, it's beautiful when it looks like how my ClickUp one does, but don't stress yourself out trying to make it absolutely perfect. At the end of the day, they're paying for your design, for your designs. They're not paying for, for the dashboard. That's kind of an extra perk. And like I said, that's part of your experience, but try not to stress out about it because I know it can get a little bit stressful and um, overwhelming to be honest. So I found a way for me to just really create these dashboards quickly, efficiently, and it's just been really seamless for me. So I would recommend checking it out. And yeah, those are the main takeaways I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I really hope it was helpful. I'm so, so sorry if I sound a little congested. My allergies have just been so bad. They've been like really bad this summer, or it's not even summer yet, but it definitely warmed up around here and I'm feeling the allergies. So I apologize for that. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe you gla grabbed a glass of wine as well um, and enjoyed kind of looking into this stuff with me. I find it so, so cool that there's so many options out there and that there's so many ways to manage your business. But I really hope that you guys are doing well and I hope that I cannot believe quarter one is like basically done of 2022. I really hope that your guys' first quarter of the year went really well and yeah let me know if you have any questions down below if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe down below and maybe let me know what you took away from this video what you use any advice i love hearing it um but yeah thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next video